you die slowly. Till Udhana exists, there are tantric processes with which you could revive the body. They're under cloth, they must be burnt. Because otherwise, it becomes a habitation for various kinds of forces. Namaskaram Sadhguru, after my father died, I still have several of his clothes. But I know in some traditions, you're not supposed to keep the clothes of the deceased. How should this be handled? When you were born, what's your birthday, Chief? Hmm? First of August? Oh, close up. You were not born in one day, though you have a fixed birthday. It took nine, nine and a half months for you to be born. Similarly, when you die, you don't die in one day. You die slowly. If somebody is medically declared dead, he still doesn't die fully. I think we've spoken about this. Hmm? The five pranas, they start withdrawing slowly, step by step. The physical life energy, which generally is referred to as prana or prana, has five basic manifestations. There are ten, but that will complicate the five basic manifestations. These are called samana, prana, udhana, apana and vyana. And let's say if, if a doctor is observing and they declare that person, at a particular moment that he is dead now. In the next twenty-one to twenty-four minutes, samana will start exiting. That means samana is in charge of maintaining temperature in the body. First thing that happen starts happening is body starts cooling down. The traditional way of checking whether somebody is dead or alive is they'll feel the nose. If the nose has gone cold, the that's how they concluded that he's dead. They wouldn't check the eyeballs and other things, they would just check the nose. If nose has become cold, that means he's dead. So samana exits at that time. Somewhere between forty-eight to sixty-four minutes, prana exits. After that, between six to twelve hours, udhana exits. Till udhana exists, there are tantric processes with which you could revive the body. But once udhana exists, there is a, a micro, micro chance, but that is an impractical chance, except that it is impossible to revive the body once udhana has existed, um, exited. The next thing is apana, somewhere between eight to eighteen hours, this exits. The vyana, which is the preservative nature of prana, will start exiting from beyond that. It can continue to exit up to eleven to fourteen days if it's a normal death. It happened one day, Shankaran Pillai was rummaging through the closet and after some time, wife came and asked, what are you doing? He said, no, nothing, I'm not doing anything, nothing. The wife said, what are you saying, nothing, nothing? I've been watching you, last half an hour, you're reading our marriage's marriage certificate. What's the matter? Shankaran Pillai said, I've been looking for the expiry date <laughs> So though there may be an expiry date for one's death, one does not die in a day, it's a slow process. In fact, it's happening right now, slowly. By doing yoga, you may be putting up hurdles in the way of death, but not stoppers, yes? 
daily yoga you're doing, putting up some hurdles and slowing it down, but no stopper. So, today you know that from your old clothing, we can take your DNA after you're gone, after hundred years later, we can clone you. Yes? Yes or no? You know? So who you are, at least the physicality of who you are, can be picked up from your clothes and we can remake you, at least someone who looks just, just like you. We can create the body. So you are still there all over the place. The yogis, when they die, they'll set fire to the hut in which they are living by themselves. There is a way to do it. Let me not tell you because I don't want you to set fire to the cottages here <laughs> So they always set fire to the hut in which they are living because they don't want even a single molecule of DNA to hang around and live because in some way your physical body is still hanging around. If they can recreate your body from that, obviously it's hanging around, isn't it? So everything that I have touched, you want to burn. Everything has to be cleared up. It's because of this, this is the one main reason why people want to keep their physical positions so minimal on the spiritual path. If you enter a sannyasi's room, you will see there will be three pairs of clothes neatly folded and kept, just one… this thing to drink water, one plate to eat food, and just one single sheet to sleep upon and that's it. No one extra item because he does not want to touch too many things in the world, he wants to keep it to at most minimal because he knows if he spreads his body all over the place, gathering it and going will be very difficult. That is why he does not form any physical relationships of any kind because he understands if he leaves his body all over, when the time together comes, it's going to be extremely difficult. People who are off your body are unwilling to come with you when you want to go. They won't come. They'll all say, I love you, but they won't come. So, When someone dies, depending upon who he is, accordingly these things must be handled. In today's world, when people have gathered enough clothing for three lifetimes, enough footwear for ten lifetimes, Burning all that would be sheer waste. And anyway, their way of existence and their way… the way they exit is such, invariably they have to find root in this earth once again. No point burning all that. At least those things which are very closely, intimately involved with the body, like their underclothes and other things must be burnt they must be burnt because otherwise that being will not go easy. He will not know, he does not have the discretion to understand whether he's, he should be here or there. He cannot make any decision. There's no decision-making capability because there's no discretion. Once the body is gone, the discretionary mind is gone. So there is no decision only by tendency. There are too many things here which belong to the body, it just hangs around, particularly in the first few days. So, in one's home, 
if there are lots of used clothes, which is, which is a problem with the Western world again, because of the type of clothing and the structure of the society, the things are such, you may be wearing a jacket for six months and it may not be washed, yes? You use it and you hang it there because it's a cold country and maybe you don't sweat so much, use it and put it there. Such a thing is not possible in India. If you use something, it has to be washed now. The nature of the clothing, the atmosphere and the social structures are such, but that is changing again there also because most people are wearing clothes made in China, <laughs> not anymore made in India. So, the type of clothing they are using, naturally they use it and hang it, they don't use it and wash it. All these things were taken care of, every aspect was handled, but we are losing it in a big way. Because these clothes are repeatedly used and hung there, you can actually experiment. Well, well today the dogs are there, if you bring a police dog, if you put a thousand jackets here and ask him to point out which is Jim's jacket, he will just go and point out, yes? Not God, just a dog <laughs> So obviously, who you are is hanging there in the co… in the jacket in many ways, isn't it? That even a dog can see it. So, once it is like this, when a person has departed and his body is still hanging around in many forms, it becomes a habitation for various kinds of forces. Not only for that person's energies hanging around, for various other kinds of forces. Unoccupied body, your jacket is, in a way, which is not a good way to leave it. So, either they immediately wash it. In India, if they're expensive clothes, they will wash all the clothes. Within the first ten days or eleven days, they'll wash all the clothes and distribute it to many places, never to one place. You don't take all your clothes and give it to one family. You make sure the jacket goes here, trousers goes there, that goes there, this goes there, so that it gets too spread out to make any significance. Significant presence is not there. Otherwise, all the things which are intimately with the body, just burn it. One of these things must be done. Either you must give it away across the fifty states, so that the old man does not remain confused as to where to go, or you must just burn it up.